2019 just started. Yeah, it's got off to a bit of a flyer for you, hasn't it? Can you tell us some of the, uh, the good news? Yes, I think uh, we're very happy with the way things are going. We had a good year last year and we hope to build on that this year with some new appointees. We've got new people joining us and some new products. Uh, yeah, let's talk about the appointees first. You've taken on uh, Colin, who's going to head up the Hanwar sales, I believe. That's correct. Um, we, are, we agreed the Hanwar agency back in uh, Emo, and Colin joined us now. He's got a, a long history of selling sliding head machines very su successfully, and we need that expertise. A uh, big, big seller around the world, isn't it, uh, the Hanwar sliding head lathes? It is. It's, um, they're number three in the world in terms of volume, so uh, I think you know they're a bit of a a hidden gem as far as we're concerned. And what do you think our audience should find out about Hanwha? Uh, what, what would be those those reasons that they're the, the third in the world, or the third biggest in the world? I think the things to look at are the, um, the power on the machine. It's got a quite heavy um, milling and turning capability. So that's one of the areas that we're really looking at and perhaps in some of the harder materials particularly. And it's a huge range as well, isn't it? I mean, there, there is, is it, is it, would I be right saying dozens of machines in, 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 under the umbrella? Yeah, it is. I mean, looking at the product range could be a bit confusing, but I mean, Colin has really homed in on probably six or seven models that are going to be really significant to the customers here. And also with the Hamwell, we've got what we've got behind us here, the Cobot. This fits quite well into the unmanned run, doesn't it? It does. Uh, I think Hamwell are probably a name that most people wouldn't have heard of in the UK, but in the uh, Asian market, they're a very big uh, company. In fact, uh, I think they're number six in Korea in terms of size. And they're definitely developing their uh, industrial side, including automation, which is going to be great for us. Uh, this will be quite popular uh, because it's so diverse, isn't it? It is. I mean, that's the point. Of course, we're, we're obviously offering it to people for machine handling and uh, pick and place, that sort of thing. But there's so many other applications when you look at the videos that uh, some of the uh, jobs they've done are really, uh, are really diverse, as you say. And you could use this in conjunction with the, one of your Schmeck machines or any of your machine tools, couldn't you? Yeah, we've got a package now to automate VMCs, lathes, including you know automatic door opening, uh, the robot interface. The beauty of this robot is that it can be moved in front of the machine, and then when you want to use it as a regular machine, you move the robot away. Whereas in the past, robots have been seen as a complete package that's integrated to the machine and can't be changed. They've worked hard to get something that's, that's versatile. Um, in part of this 2019, or, or the start of this good year for you as well, is the introduction of uh, a new brand. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, we're very excited. We've just signed up the agency beginning of January for the Kitamura brand from Japan, which is really part of the company policy that we're looking at the higher end type of machines. Again, automation is a very big part of their product range, multi-pallet systems and uh, material handling systems. Uh, what's, the what's the message, Eric, from Dugard this year? Because there has been some changes and obviously your business is, is, has got a clear focus on what you want to achieve. Well, we've seen the market change in the last few years away from the uh, lower cost, high volume type products. It seems customers here are definitely looking at more automation and higher specification machines. Uh, you know, we're talking about machines in uh, Kitamura that are talking microns in terms of accuracy as standard and multi-pallet systems are standard and so on. So there's a lot of um, potential there, I think, for the UK market.